students today i have come up with a new topic that is poetry today's poetry is the road not taken it is written by the famous poet named robert frost robert frost was an american poet he was a school teacher he had struggled a lot in his lifetime he had spent his lifetime among the common and ordinary people he was writing books and poetry he had a close observation about the lives of common people so his poetry uh, centers around the lives of common and ordinary people he did not get recognition in his own home country the united states of america so he went to england he got recognition in the in england as a poet and author after few years he came back from england to his home country that is the united states of america when he came back he was welcomed and he got the name and fame in the united states of america so he speaks about this poetry about the difficulty of making choices in our day to day life so let me tell you about something about the poetry the road not taken the road not taken is based on the difficulty of making choices the dilemma of making choices in our day to day life so here in the poetry the right the poet has taken the symbolic two roads two roads is about the choices of our day to day life so he has taken the symbolic picture of this uh, two wor words that is two roads he is telling that he was uh, standing in the middle of the forest he had two roads in front of him he had to make a choice between these two so he was puzzled he was confused he was in dilemma which road to be which road he should take so he is creating picture in the minds of his reader actually he want to draw attention towards him to reflect about our own life that every individual in this on this planet earth has to make decision in his or her life so everybody has to make choices in their life so decision making is very essential in the lives of human being so we have will be confused in making choices but what we need to do is that we need to prioritize we need to uh, differentiate between the primary needs and the secondary needs we have to make primary decisions and secondary decisions which are most important and which are less important so in that way we have to categorize and make decision so this is what the poet wants to drive home through this poetry through this beautiful poetry this is the evergreen poetry which is applicable and every generation can make use of this poetry so it's a very beautiful poetry and let's uh, let's read and recite the poetry and understand it for uh, deeply so the name of the poet poetry is the road not taken it is written by robert frost so let us read this well known poem is about making choices and the choices that shape us robert frost is an american poet who writes simply but insightfully insightfully means very intelligently very thoughtfully about common ordinary experiences so the poet has just highlighted that this poetry is centering around making choices and whatever choices we make whatever decision we make that will make difference in our life and that will shape our life that will shape the life of an individual so now let us read stanza wise first stanza two roads diverge in a yellow wood so he says he is saying symbolic two roads diverge in a yellow wood two roads stands for our life uh, the choices of our life 
There is, here it is only given two, but we will have multiple choices in our life. This is a symbolic way of uh, making us understand. Two roads diverge in a yellow wood. Diverge means separated, separated into two opposite directions. So you can understand, you can imagine the simile. The point was standing in the middle of the forest and there were two roads. He was standing between these two roads. Diverge means separated into two opposite directions. So he was thinking which roads to walk through. And sorry, I could not travel both. So he's thinking he cannot travel both because he's only one traveler, one person. And be one traveler, long I stood. He stood for a long time. This is the second form of verb, stood, stand, stood. So he was standing there for a long time, making decisions, thinking which road to be taken. And looked down, he was looking down as far as I could. So he was looking through the road as far as his eyes could see to where it bent in the undergrowth. So his eyes could see the last end of the road where there were where there was undergrowth, short bushes. Undergrowth with short bushes. Then we move to second stanza. Then took the other just as fair. Then he was looking at the other road. Fair means good enough. The other road, road was also good enough. It was also good enough. So he was also tempted to walk through that road also. And having perhaps the better claim, he was thinking the second road also is very attractive. So this is also good. So I should take this one also. I should walk through this road also. Because it was grassy and wanted well. And he's giving reason why he wanted to choose the second one. He's telling that the road was covered with full of grass. And wanted where? Wanted where means uh, nobody who had walked through that road. It was like as it was. So he wanted to walk through that road. He wanted to experience in that road. He wanted to become the first traveler for that road. And that was a difficult path. Wanted where? Wanted where WW is used. In both the words, you can see both the words WW is used. So this is a figure of alliteration. This is called alliteration. Alliteration is the repetition of the consonant letters in the lines of the poem. So, though as for that, the passing there, so he, ha he had to walk through that road. Nobody has gone through that road, second road. He's talking about second road. So, he had, nobody had walked through that road. So, he will be the first one to go by that road. Had warned them really about the same. Nobody had uh, walked through that road and there is no mark on that road. Nobody warned. Nobody had, had put their foot marks on that road. Because nobody had walked there. Worn means uh, like stamping walking through and that footprints uh, is uh, footprints come out out of walking had won them really about the same third stanza and both that morning equally lay both the roads were equally tempting to walk through he wanted to walk uh, through the both the roads but it is not possible because he is the only one person he is trying to draw our attention he is trying to visualize is trying to feel like what other like what other people feel and both that morning equally lay in leaves you can imagine that morning the sunny morning and the road was and the road was very um, attractive he wanted to walk through in leaves no staff had grown in black he's talking about the second uh, second road in leaves no staff had grown in black nobody had walked through that road because trodden means walk Nobody has no step, means nobody had walked through that road. In leaves, no step had road in black. Leaves had fallen on the road and nobody had walked on the leaves. No marks were there, no food marks on the road. Oh, I kept the first for another day. See, he's thinking that I will walk today this road and the another day I will walk the other, the other road. I will walk on the other road the other day. So second day, he's thinking like that. Oh, oh I kept the first for another day. Yet knowing how way leads on to me. Like here we remember one saying, when there is will, there is a way. When we start doing something, something will come up. So he's thinking, the poet also is thinking in that way. Yet knowing how way leads on to me. I doubted if I should ever come back. But at the same time, the poet is thinking, if I take the road now, will I be able to come back again? Is it possible to come back and walk on the other road? 
So this is the doubt, this is the dilemma the poet is going through. Dilemma means confusion. I shall be telling the last stanza. So now, whatever decision he, has, he will make, whatever decision he will make, he will tell it to the future generation. He will tell to the people in the future. He say last stanza is expression about telling in the future to his people or to the future generation. I shall be telling this with a sigh. Sigh means deep breath. I will tell people with my deep breath. Somewhere ages and ages hence that he will tell the same story which he had uh, which he had experienced in his lifetime of making decisions between two roads, between working between two roads, which road to be taken. The same incident he will be narrating to the future generation and he is telling that I will tell them with full of with the full of relief and with taking a deep breath, I will tell them. Two roads diverge in a wood. I will tell them that there were two roads in a wood, wood in his forest, jungle, and I, and I, and he will tell that I was the only one person. I took the one less traveled by. I will tell the people that I took the, uh, I made a decision to travel by the road which was not traveled by anyone. I was the only one to travel by that road. So he wanted to, he want, he want to tell that he was the only one traveler that took that second road which was tough road, which was difficult path. So he made, he will tell the people that he took a, a tough path, difficult path and, and that has made all the difference and he will tell that because I took the tough path, because I took the hard path, that's what and that has made all the difference in my life. So the point wants to tell, the point will tell in the future to the people that whatever decision he made, he accepted it and whatever decision he made, he was happy for that and that has what success brought to his life. So through this poetry, Robert Frost wants to give us an idea that we have to make proper decision in our life. Every individual on this human, uh, on this planet Earth has to take decisions. Decision making has to be proper. We have to make a right decision. If we take a wrong decision, then we have to be, we have to, uh, we have to go through that. We have to accept it. If we take right decision, then we will become successful in our life. If we take wrong decision, then we will become unsuccessful in our life. So th therefore, we need to make proper decision in our day-to-day life, day -day life. So, for example, like when you, when, you, uh, when you will pass your board examination in 10th class, you have to make a decision to make your career in life. So after passing out your 10th class, 10th board examination, you have to make a decision whether to study in arts or commerce or science streams, whether to take medical or non-medical. You cannot choose all three of them. You have to make one decision. You have to choose one stream. So whatever decision you make, that will make your destiny successful. That will make your life successful. If you take a wrong decision, then you will be unsuccessful. You will be unhappy and you will regret about that. So through this point, we will learn that how to make good decisions, how to make proper decisions. So we need to make proper decisions. Then only our life will be fruitful and happy. So now let me guide you through the figure of speech and the rhyme scheme. Two roads diverge in a yellow wood. This is the, this is the metaphor. Two roads is a, is a stand of our choices of our life. Two roads, there are so many choices of our life that career, we have to make career, we have to choose uh, streams for our career. So those things are represent, those things represent two roads. So this is a metaphor. And then alliteration, wanted where, I told you this, wanted where, because both the uh, words, first letter is WW, consonant letter. So the alliteration, alliteration is the repetition of the consonant letters in the lines of the poetry. So that's why it is alliteration. Then I will tell you about, let me tell you some more about the poetry. Okay. So the rhyme scheme of the poetry. Two roads diverge in the yellow wood. Wood, the last word, the rhyming words. Last word is taken for rhyming words. The last word wood, A. The name is given in A. Then second one, and sorry I could not travel both. Both is different 
then wood. So this is B. We gave the name. We have given the name B. So then the third line. And the one traveler long I stood, stood, wood, stood, wood. So these are name is given as A A. So the rhyme scheme is A B A A B. Here you can see B. So you can see it. And we want to travel along as two. And I looked down on as far as I could. A. Could. Would. Stood. Would. Rhyme same. Similar. So they, they are, these words are given the name A. And second one. Both and undergrowth. So to where it went in the undergrowth. So undergrowth B. So the rhyme scheme is A A. Let me tell you once again. Okay. So the rhyme scheme of the poetry is A B A A B. Then symbolism. The poet is trying to bring the symbolism of two roads. Two roads represent two or more choices in our life. Two or more choices in our life. So remember, two roads just symbol. It's a symbol. It, but there are many multiple choices in our life. We have to face multiple choices in our life. Anaphora. Anaphora is the repetition of the vowel sound like A A. It is repeated in line 2, 3 and 4. And, and a, a sound is repeated. So that is called anaphora. That is also called figure of speech. Alliteration I already told you. The wanted where. W, W. Wanted where. Sound is repeating. First 4. F, F. In both the words. First 4, F, F. The sound is repeating. So that, that is also considered as alliteration. Though that. T, H, T, H. So this is how sound is repeating. Alliteration. Then repetition ages is repeated. The words which are repeated again and again, so the, this is also called a, a repetition. Repetition also comes under figure of speech. So I hope you have understood the poetry. And uh, prodded means walk power. This meaning is given here. And I also told you, uh, one day where had not been used, nobody had walked through that. Grassy, unused, nobody has used that word. Claim, better option, fair, as good as the other one. So these are the meanings. So this way you should understand the poetry. I hope you have understood the poetry and uh, you will write your question answers uh, beautifully in your notebook. The first set of question is always the reference to the context. Second set of questions are always the answer the following questions in 30 to 40 words. And third set of question is the value based questions. That is for 100 to 150 words. You have to write in three, at least two to three paragraphs, you have to write about the poetry. Whatever questions will be asked from the poetry, you should justify and prove it in your own words. So, I hope you have understood and you will do well in your uh, notebook.